Hello, and welcome to Smithco News. The headlines this evening. The World Health Organization has stated that the statement saying the coronavirus comes from a lab is false. A second impeachment trial for former President of America is to begin today. Police are becoming more violent in Myanmar. South Africa is no longer wanting the English vaccine. The Democratic Republic of Congo say Ebola has returned. Hula Ben, the head of the WHO, has stated that the mission to discover the cause of the virus has resulted in the WHO coming to the conclusion that the virus was not made in a lab. Furthermore, they stated that it is possible the virus came on cold chain products, which would possibly mean it originated outside of Wuhan. Critics say the group met with many Chinese officials before the results were released, and that only an hour was spent investigating the original thought source. Lawyers to the former Republican President Donald Trump have said that he did not try to use mob violence at Capitol Hill to overturn elect the election. Prosecutors draw attention to his words to fight like hell for his presidency to supporters. This is what led to the deaths of five people. Trump has refused to leave his club in Florida to testify, yet it is likely that he will not be impeached. Police have fired rubber bullets on people protesting against the unlawful military coup in Myanmar. The police attacked the protesters with rubber bullets. Then, after the protesters refused to consent to stop protesting, the police began to fire a water cannon on the protesters. This caused injury to several people. The military have said that this would be different to their previous dictatorial reign of 49 years. The military have still not released the democratically elected leader. The English vaccine AstraZeneca has been shown to be not as effective as first thought. South Africa says that they will have suspended vaccinations with this vaccine over such concerns. Ebola, which has not had an outbreak in three months, has returned, stated the Democratic Republic of Congo. And that's all we have for you today. This has been your news report from Swissco.